So what's up guys, this is Shivam from Team Zion and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to become a blockchain developer. Now we are a blockchain project, right? And for us, the, the classic thing that we are looking at is your proficiency with solidity. However, with that being said, of course, uh, a lot of guys, if, if you are in the field, you know that there's a lack of people who understand blockchain development. So we have a lot of front-end developers, we have a lot of back-end developers, but what we what the industry lacks right now is, is a huge inflow. Uh, we really need a huge inflow, rather, of blockchain developers. Now, within blockchain, of course, there's, there's this, of course, as with other uh, forms of development, there's rust there's solidity and and haskell for example for in case of cardano so if you're going for solana rust is is important for you uh, but if you're looking at anything that is my bad if you're looking for anything that is that is dependent on ethereum is evm compatible in other words you have to know how to program on solidity now solidity marks the foundation of not just ethereum chain link and tons of other projects, um, especially if you want to code NFTs, ERC721 is, is the classic standard for NFTs. If you want to create your NFTs, you want to deploy those contracts on chain. If it's double one, double five, which is an ERC721, ERC20 contract combined into one single contract, that's ERC1155. If you want to work with all of those, you need to understand Solidity. Now, Solidity was created by Dr. or started rather, uh, or discovered, founded, whatever you want to say whatever the word that you want to use, uh, was founded by Dr. Gavin Wood, who is now also the founder of Polkadot and Kusama, is a founder of Ethereum as well, along with Vitalik Buterin. And so Solidity takes a base off of JavaScript. So the first step that you will have to take is to learn JavaScript is to learn how JavaScript works. The basics of JavaScript should be more than enough. And when I talked about this video with, with the tech lead at Zionverse, uh, one of the things that he asked me to stress upon while making this video was to talk about the importance of OOPS, which is object-oriented programming. So it, it is going to be paramount for you to understand the basics of object-oriented programming to be actually able to deploy apps, to be, or rather deploy decentralized apps, to be able to work with constructors, those specific functions, uh, when coding with Solidity, when coding on blockchain. So that's one of the focus points that he mentioned. And of course, within JavaScript, you of course want to understand the basic data structures and design patterns. That's, that's of course, a irrespective of if you're going for blockchain development or if you're going for front-end development or if you're going to go even towards Node.js and the back-end side, you must know data structures pretty well. You must know the design patterns pretty well. And that's, that's going to help you irrespective of what field you are going to enter. So basics of JavaScript is your step one. Step two is then you start with Solidity. Now, I understand Solidity is more, more or less like the, the 80% here. Um, the 20% work that you'll put to get you 80% of the results in blockchain development, that's solidity. Uh, your time with JavaScript is, it's not unnecessary. So basically you, if you have some knowledge, let's say of C++, if you've done some coding in, in your college, you can try and skip JavaScript, but it of course makes a big difference if you know JavaScript or not, especially if you're going to test those contracts, if you're going to run uh, tests, if you wanna try out different failure scenarios while deploying smart contracts or while testing your smart contracts, you might need to know the basics of JavaScript. So if you know any other language, uh, getting into JavaScript would be pretty pretty simple. Uh, you'll, you'll have, of course, the basics and the logic stays the same. You'll have to learn the syntax, the way the language is structured, and that's it, and, and you're ready. A couple hours, maybe three, four hours into JavaScript, and you're gonna be ready if you're already familiar with programming. So moving into Solidity, uh, you the next step that you might wanna take is look into creating your tokens, your own tokens, right? That's ERC20 standard. Just look into how ERC20 standard is being made, as well as you might wanna look into how uh, how DeFi functions right now, because DeFi is one of the biggest, uh, rather biggest use cases of Ethereum right now. And if you understand how decentralized finance works, and if you are able to code those apps, you might things are gonna get easier for you uh, from a career standpoint. So the immediate next step to learning Solidity or any other language for the matter of fact, is that you might wanna look into creating a project of your own on the side. So that acts as a portfolio project especially if you have no experience in coding and you've learned JavaScript off of Udemy, you're getting into blockchain 
let's say off of Udemy as well. There's a course on Udemy by this guy named Sebastian Arbogast, who's the guy who I, it's the same course that I'm taking right now as well. And so what, what happens is we know the theory, right? We know how, how to, how to make basic smart contracts. We know how to deploy them, be it on our own local blockchain using Kanash or be it on, on a test net, right? We know all of that. What we don't know at that point is how, how a project comes together, right? So that's what you want to learn. So maybe you want to look at a couple of projects for your portfolio. One of the, I, I guess one of the most important projects that you should look into is creating a wallet of your own. A wallet, creating a wallet of your own will get you to understand how blockchains work, but at the same time, they will, it, it will also tell you how to process transactions, right? How to process transactions, how to add and subtract balances on, on the sender, as well as the receiver side, how to pull off balances, how to organize information, how to organize various different balances, or if, if you're integrating those multiple tokens, or let's say you're creating an ERC based wallet. So you're going to have multiple ERC compatible tokens in it, right? So organizing that info. So you'll also have to have some idea of the front end. That's where your JavaScript knowledge and maybe a little bit of react knowledge could come into play where you could build a web app on the front of your solidity backend, right? So that's one. That's one. You could also end up creating a small, simple DeFi exchange of your own where people can come maybe give given ethereum take out usdc given usdc take out ethereum this simple kind of one pair two pair transaction as an example of you know what you're talking about is going to be very important and third i think very important in my opinion especially considering uh, from from a so because we are building this in zionverse right we are building zionverse and this is this is one of the things that we discuss regularly uh, is is being able to log in to different apps right so being able to log in using somebody else's uh, somebody's metamask wallet so that the whole uh, the whole shebang that comes with understanding how uh, a crypto or how blockchain login would work how you would validate one's wallet and or one's metamask wallet address and stuff like that so that's i i think is going to make uh, your portfolio kind of high or at least be become the highlight of your portfolio as well. So these are the three things you could look into right after learning Solidity. And please avoid, uh, I, I, I think this, I should mention it, please avoid getting into that tutorial hell. If you've done one course off of Udemy on blockchain development, you are ready. You are ready to start creating your own stuff. Go to Stack Overflow, go look at, there are tons of resources online uh, where you are going to be able to fit kind of find help around Solidity. Now, if you're choosing any, if you cho end up choosing other languages apart from Solidity, the, the amount of support or the amount of community support around those is going to be kind of lower in quantity as compared to Solidity, but it definitely makes a difference. Uh, so Solidity is going to be your best bet to get into this field. I hope you like the video. So this is kind of an, a general uh, roadmap of how you can get into blockchain. If you're interested in more of such videos, and if you want to get into the blockchain industry, maybe what we could do is we could organize an AMA with our tech team, right? So if you want to do that, do let me know in the comments below and we'll make sure to make it happen for you guys. Stay tuned for Zion, all the updates on Zionverse. You can check out our Twitter as well as our Telegram and Discord. You'll find all the links in the description below, guys. This is Shivam from Team Zion signing off. I'll see you guys next time.